Hi, I'm Brooks at Board Game Cavern. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and play Forbidden Bridge, a two to four player adventure game. You and your fellow adventurers will make your way down the river, climb a mountain, cross a treacherous swaying bridge, grab those jewels, and get back before that idol gets angry and shakes you off the bridge. So grab a torch and let's head to the cavern. First you'll set it up just like this. You want to put six rubies in each side of the idol's hands. Set up the bridge as so. The directions will tell you the order these need to be in and they're very specific. And then these are on both sides of the treacherous canyon below. I've chosen two players here, yellow and green for visibility, but you can play up to four. And there's different spaces across here with alligators. Here's the beach you're gonna be heading to and here's the two dice. The youngest player goes first. Your goal in Forbidden Bridge is to canoe down the alligator infested river Dock your canoe here on the beach, climb up to the top of the mountain, and slowly make your way across the bridge all the way to the rubies, grabbing one, bringing it back, putting it back in your canoe. One more trip across the bridge for another ruby in your backpack, all the way back to the canoe, and canoe down back to the start. So the start and finish are the same space. There are two dice in Forbidden Bridge. One is numbers one through six, and the other has three icons, red, green, and blue. On your turn, you'll row both. The number will tell you how many spaces you move, and the picture die will prompt other actions on your turn. If you roll the red jewel icon, you may steal the jewel from another player's backpack, but you can only do it if you start or end your turn on the same space. And you cannot steal from their canoe. Once a jewel is in the canoe, it's safe. If you roll the green explorer icon, that allows you to move any other player on the bridge to a more dangerous portion of the plank they're on. So the safest part of any plank is the two hooks because it'll hold you in when the bridge starts shaking. But more dangerous is here and the most dangerous and unguarded in this case is right here. If you roll the blue idol icon, the idol is angry and you have to push down on the idol. Whoa. They held on, but barely, but they do get to stay on the bridge. But green fell off. Our yellow explorer managed to stay on the bridge, but dropped her blue jewel, which fell down here to the jungle floor. If it lands on any of these spaces that aren't water, it stays there. And any other player that lands on that space can just pick it up. If it lands in a canoe, it's off limits. If the jewel lands in the water when it falls off the bridge, it immediately returns to the idol's hand. And that's how you play Forbidden Bridge. My name is Brooks at Board Game Cavern. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you at the next one.